Ladies and gentlemen, and we are right back in the World Golf English Spirit Championship 2022. No rest for the wicked. We have some wonderful judges joining us on stage, if you'd like to come on over. And now, as the judges coming on the stage as well, we have another competitor representing Czech Republic, Jakub Smolka. Let's hear it. Hodně štěstí. Good luck. So, can you hear me? Like, loud and clear? Perfect. Can I have my music, please? Thank you. Okay, everyone ready? Audience ready? So, time. Good afternoon, dear judges, friends, audience. My name is Jakub, and today I'll be your host. Let me first ask you, what is the one thing that coffee and spirits have in common? For me, it is the power of connection, and therefore I spent the last two years on a journey to discover the most inspiring people, information, and products. And today is the very last day of this journey. I'll take everything I've learned during this time and connect it with one simple goal, amazing you with a wonderful sensory experience. Now, all the products I'll be using today are based on three pillars, uniqueness, quality, and sustainability. If you'll be interested in more details about any of the products, please look into the booklet in front of you, but you will also find proportions for both of my drinks. Now, please excuse me for just a couple of seconds while I'm going to grind my coffee. Thank you very much. So, let's begin with the most important ingredient, my coffee. I've always had a very special place in my heart for Guatemalan coffees, but this one is truly extraordinary. Both coffees I'll be using today come from Finca Santa Isabel, located in Santa Rosa village of Nuevo Oriente region in Guatemala. The farm is owned by my dear friends, Alex and Martin Keller. Santa Isabel is the very first and only biodynamic coffee farm in Guatemala. I am sure you have already heard of the sustainable agricultural practice from the wine industry or one of the famous champagne houses in France. This January, I spent almost two weeks at the farm trying to understand and experience the concept of biodynamics myself. Besides that, I was also lucky enough to choose two amazing coffees for today's occasion. So, the first one I'll be using for my cold serve is honey processed Millennial F1 varietal with tones of apples tropical fruits and nuts. And the second is naturally processed Sarchmore varietal with tones of cherries, almonds, and chocolate. Now, I'm using two different brewing methods to highlight the qualities of my coffees. For my cold syrup, I'm preparing an espresso with a recipe of 20 grams of coffee and 60 out, which I extracted over frozen whiskey stones to bring down the temperature of the coffee, of the coffee so it combines perfectly with other elements of the drink. And for my hot serve, I'm preparing the Clever Dripper because the full immersion method helps me to achieve a round full body so that the coffee can be clearly distinguished in the combination with other elements. So. My, uh, my uh, cold drink is called Heritage and combines amazing produce from my homeland with two typical Guatemalan produce. The first part is the already mentioned espresso from Santa Isabel. Each shot is around 30 milliliters. Then I'm using the Utopia Cider. Evo Lauren and his wife Eva turn traditional Czech apple varietals into a stale natural cider, which in the combination with my coffee highlights the acidity in the drink. I'm using 30 ml per portion. Next, I'm using a Super Pomo Apple Brandy. Andre and Petr from Montcalf Distillery also use the forgotten Czech apples to create this amazing apple brandy. Its thick and sweet body supports the sweetness and the texture of my drink. I'm also using 30 ml per portion. The main spirit is gin from Montcalf Distillery as well. This gin is extremely unique because all the products it was distilled from were actually produced in the Czech Republic. 
I'm using 25 ml in total to support the citrus notes, both in aroma and taste of the drink. The last part is honey. Martin Keller, producer of my coffee, is a beekeeper as well, and during my visit, he shared two of his honeys with me. The first one is extremely unique. It comes from endemic species of bees discovered by the Mayan civilization. These bees live about two meters underground, and their honey is just incredible. It is dark and tastes like Coca-Cola and spices. Now I'm using 10 grams of it for both portions to support the, uh, the sweetness and fruitiness of my drink. Now I'll be stirring down the drink to the temperature of around 7 degrees Celsius, which is just the perfect temperature for you to enjoy the amazing character. Dear judges, in the drink, please first focus on the aroma, which would remind you of the citruses. Then, please appreciate the taste. You can expect a syrupy-like texture with intense sweetness and funky juiciness, which will remind you of ripe apples. And then in the taste, you can experience a perfect synergy of all elements, which will remind you of cherries and chocolate. After that, you can expect a very pleasant, long-lasting, amazing aftertaste. I'll be serving you the drink on top of a quartz stone I brought back from Santa Isabel to represent his terroir. And instead of the usual garnish, I will put a lemon aroma on top of your drink to enhance your overall aromatic experience. Now, dear judges, first, please, pop the bubble with your nose and then enjoy the heritage of Czech and Guatemalan countryside right away. Please enjoy. Judges, I gave you some time to enjoy my cold serve, but now I would love to move to the second serve, the hot drink. We will stay in the countryside, more specifically in the northern part of the, my che oh, of the Czech Republic, uh, in the Jezarki Mountain, aka the origin of myself. In the winter, it often gets very cold and dark outside, and at the end of a long day, you will need something to warm you up and cheer up your spirit, and this drink is just perfect for this. So, the foundation is 300 milliliters of strong filter coffee from Santa Isabel. And from my visit, I didn't just bring the coffee. I also brought the dried cherries from the processing and honey from Martin and made infusion of two of these amazing ingredients, which serves as a sweetener of my drink and supports the taste of the processing. Next, I'm using gin. It's the same one I use for my cold syrup. However, in this case, it rather supports the floral and herbal notes in the drink. I'm using 20 ml for both portions. The last part is cherries and chocolate liquor from Lancard Destillery as well. I really like these guys, so. Uh, originally, this was only supposed to be a cherry liquor. However, they wanted to enhance the experience, so they introduced the cherry liquor to a chocolate distill and made this amazing brandy, which spent all, all two years uh, in an old oak cask. I'm only adding 10 ml for both portions to enhance the cherry-like character and the acidity in the drink. Now, I'll serve you the drink in a closed mug because I really want you to enjoy the amazing intensive aroma of the drink. But before I do so, I would love you to write down the description of the profile of the drink. So, after I open the lid for you, please expect a very intense aroma which will remind you of orange zest, spices and cherries. And then in the taste, please focus on the harmony between sweetness, sourness, and bitterness, represented by cardamom, cherries, and tangerine. After drinking, please enjoy the long and sweet aftertaste, which will like, keep you very warm 
uh, and also take into the consideration the warming aspect of the drink and imagine you just like took, took a whole day trip and this is something that's supposed to warm you up for you and for you. So before I ask you to enjoy the drink, I would love to thank you for being here today with me and I would also love to take uh, this occasion to thank to all of my friends in the audience as well as behind the screens at home. So hi guys, thank you very much, thank you very much and please enjoy. Let's hear it for Jacob Smoker. Yes, well done. Jacob, come over. We're here. Here we are. Sorry. Come along, friend. I didn't see you. Well done. Hi. Thank you very much. Come Thank in you. between us. Thank you. Ahoy, ahoy. Keep you ahoy, warm. Ahoy, ahoy. How are you feeling? Smoker. Uh, like a smoker, yeah? <laughs> more like I understand. A, more like a smoker than a smoker right yeah, now. Look, yeah, yeah. color in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a smoker means smurf. Yeah. Smoker like does I'm not. Like I'm a reversed smurf right now. I'm right. Yeah, exactly. Instead of blue, yeah. yeah How do you feel? You look fresh. Uh, really good now. Like, it's yeah. You seem better than like better than ten minutes ago, I would say. <laughs> the, uh, the well, let's talk through. You did some cool things on stage. A flavor blaster. So. It worked. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have there been times when it's not worked? Uh, yeah, for example, yesterday on yeah. the spirit bar. Yeah. It's tough, isn't it? It's, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A knife. It's such a thin film. Do you yeah. want to talk about what that does? Well, it basically enhances the overall aromatic experience. Uh, also, uh, it's really cool. I think Martin could tell uh, that people love it. I know. <laughs> like I've seen like 200 Insta stories like a day yeah. of people enjoying <laughs> it. So. Good. And judges enjoy it too, hopefully. And. Uh, I noticed you really emphasize a lot of produce such as honey and the local yeah. liqueurs and you spent some time in a farm. Uh -huh. Is there was a moment when you realized you want to do this specific cocktail when you went to the farm and you spent a couple of weeks there? Well, basically it was like a two-year process because like at first uh, I joined the competition uh, in 2020 and came out with, like, uh, with this concept and everything like clicked. So all the products I was actually using today come from people I know personally. I visited, I visited all of them. Nice. And uh, yeah, that's like this something I enjoy. Thank you, yeah. judges. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you. Thank well, you. I think Thank we you. are going to be moving on Thank fairly you. swiftly, as much as I wish we had more time. OK, so, perfect. So well done to the judges. Let's hear it once more from Czech Republic, Jakob Smolka. <laughs> and we'll be back very, very soon. So do not go anywhere. <laughs> 